going, Mr. Primer, is best. I'm going to Gas Axe Chop Shop in Ten Mile, Tennessee to see my friend Tim Dixon and to pick up Wilma. Wilma is wanting to come home with us today. Tim called last night and said he had Wilma done. All the things I wanted to get done on Wilma, he's finished it, so I'm going to go pick it up, bring it back home, and start piddling with it at home. So I'm really looking forward to getting Wilma back home. It'll be something fun and different to do. But as usual, it all depends on the weather. You can see the leaves on the trees. It's fall of the year, cool in the mornings, and kind of warm in the afternoons, kind of still. So hopefully I'll have enough nice days in order to play with Wilma. So are you looking forward to Wilma coming home? Yes. Me too. Okay, stay tuned. That over there looked like this. So to keep it from resting, what are you doing, Mr. PIV? Oh, uh, having a great time. You know I love the smell of paint. <laughs> okay guys, I got the driver's side done. That's just dirt. Uh grinding uh, dust so now I this is not the exact color of this truck I just took a chance and got something I thought was looked right but it's not so while I'm what I'm doing is painting all this just so it won't rust before I put the insulation and rubber mat back in I'm trying to do the best I can on it so as you can see it does not match whatsoever but then again it's on under the mat and all I'm doing is just protecting it from further rust coming back up on it. So, fun times. Not really as fun. I, I enjoy this kind of stuff where you're saving one from just going down any further. If you've watched my channel any length at all, you know I enjoy... fixing stuff that basically nobody else wants to fool with or has considered to be dead and ready for the scrapyard. I don't know how many I've gotten that were headed for the scrapyard or just about made it to the scrapyard or like when I had that 78 Chevy truck, old Dookie, it was loaded up fixing to go to the scrapyard, loaded up on a trailer ready to go. So even though my friends tell me, don't get it they're smarter than I am but I still I don't listen I get them anyway most of the time if there's any way I can afford it and try to save them and throw lots of money into something that I probably never will get back out so I'll pause this here and I'll get back with you in a minute hey guys going down the road in Wilma the 77 GMC I left Tim Dixon's at Gas X Chop Shop, 10 Mile, Tennessee, heading, heading back home. And I just can't believe how smooth this truck is. It drives so good. I've got the window cracked. If you're hearing wind noise, that's why I'm kind of talking loud. Sure is a good running truck. I'm real proud to have it. Tim done an outstanding job fixing everything, and I'll I'll point that out to you here in a little bit. See you later. Okay, guys, I made it back home in Wilma just fine. She runs like a champ. Uh, I'll show you some of the places that Tim and BT and Corey have worked on. First of all, Corey got the air fixed on it, so it's got good cold air. There's some kids playing if you hear some hollering. Uh, got this fixed. Of course, this place here. I'm gonna have to go to the junkyard and get me some door rubber, but 
because uh, this is this is kind of wore out. But uh, here's what I was wanting to show you. See this color here? Wait a minute. Get my hand ready here. This uh, Rust-Oleum uh, Heritage Red. Now see, I, I painted this right here, and it's not too far from being this color once it dries. I think I can scuff it up and tone it down a little bit. It might be close enough. So anyway, I painted my floorboards. I, I know you've seen that a while ago. Well, it's been a while for me, but just a minute or two for you. So, uh, let's see, what else? Besides the floors, I've got the AC fixed, as I said. Uh, patched all this. Patched up underneath it, too. i got my chrome tips on. This is the part that, uh, caused a lot of problems, I think, was the tailgate. Tim had to redo the whole bottom of this tailgate. I don't know what the deal was on this tailgate, but there was a lot of fabbing and welding going on here. And it's good enough for this truck. I mean, it's, like I've said before, it's not going to Barrett Jackson or Meekum auctions. It's just an old driver shop truck. Uh, truck I also bought some floor pans that uh, Tim had and I got some uh, uh, rockers and cab corners too I, I, of course I got the sport bumpers I'm, I'm trying to show you all this from when I took it over to Tim's a couple of months ago uh, yeah my chrome tips uh, I'm going to spray paint this the truck is really dirty from sitting outside and all the grinding dust. It's, it's kind of hard to see through the windshield, but uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to paint all this stuff with, uh, I'm gonna give it a shot with this stuff, this uh, Rust-Oleum stuff, Heritage Red. I think I can, you know, normally I just kind of leave that stuff and I'll clear coat it and let it, let it go. But I think on this one, I'm gonna try something different, just kind of spray paint it. See if I can make it kind of match best that I can. Of course, I got my bumper guards on. But uh, it's been a long, long process. And I'm glad to see it's just about, well, I'm glad to see it back home. I got to put all this stuff back down. Uh, I think I got some new ones, uh, these door sills. I think I got some new ones. And uh, also, oh, yeah, here's my rockers, my cab corners. And I saved this piece from my AC because I, I've got all this because Tim sometime is going to be doing the, the working on the Cheyenne trip. So the, the white one that's over at Tim's. So I'm hoping that, uh, I, you know, I already have his stuff bought and done. I don't know how far I'm going to go on that white Cheyenne truck. If I can just get the truck up and running, I think I'll just... I don't know what I'm going to do, but I do have the parts, so that, that's a good thing. Uh, I need reminder to self. There's kids riding skateboards down the street. I live on the side of a hill. Uh, reminder to self, I need to get the front end lined on it. I haven't done that yet. And I probably need to go up and under it and do a little black, uh, spraying some black paint on some spots that I I figure I've missed. And also, I missed, I on purpose missed a few spots that Tim was going to fix under there. So, let me see what else I need to do. Oh, I, I got to put these corners on. I got new tail light lens. Uh, and I got to put that other piece on that's laying behind the seat. It's not going to be... As I said, it's not going to be a show truck. It's just going to be a regular shop truck, just an old truck. It kind of looks stock. I know a lot of y'all, and I was this way too for a long time, and I still might. I'm not sure, it, but it rides so well. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. My phone quit. I don't know what's going on with it. Just an old phone. But uh, anyway, I was saying that I think you know, sometimes I think about maybe getting a lowering kit and buying some wheels and doing all that. And I might someday, 
who knows? Maybe I'll wake up tomorrow and decide I'm going to lower it and put some uh, 20 inch wheels on it, what I customarily put on one, and lower it and give it a lowering job, see what it looks like then. But as for now, it just runs and drives so well. And since I had to pay for all this metal work, I better just hold up. But that's not to say I won't do that later on. I don't know, unless somebody wants Wilma worse than I do. But Tim didn't fix every little thing on it. There's still a couple of bubbles here and there. And I'm sure there's still some more Bondo. I'm sure there's some right in here. I'm just leaving all that. I told Tim just fix the holes. So to me, it's to me it's perfect. The tailgate looks much better and all that. So uh, I got to go get a front end alignment. I don't want to mess these tires up like the ones that I drove home on. on a, they was just about to pop, and I didn't realize it. So anyway, we'll just see what happens. My, I guess I'm going to try that red paint maybe tomorrow or the next day. And uh, I'd like to go get the engine detailed from my friend at uh, Athens Collision Center, see if he'll detail the engine on Wilma. And... Maybe just drive it like this for a little while. It's, it'll be fine. I'm going to put it in the garage. It needs washed really bad, but I really don't want to get anything wet on it until I get some spray paint on it. So even if the shade of red is not the same as the truck, I'm thinking maybe I can kind of scuff it up and make it somewhat match maybe with a little luck. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it, it, like I said, it's not going to bear it. Jackson, look at it. But I'd like to put Penetrol on it. I, this year is getting gone, so I don't know if I'm going to get all the things on my wish list done. But I'm going to do the best that I can on it. And I'd like for y'all to stay tuned and maybe give me some suggestions and at least some encouragement to keep going. But I sure do like this old truck. It's a, it, this truck is surprising how well it runs and drives. And so if I get the front end done and get the engine detailed, I feel like that I have really got something accomplished. So before winter sets in, it's, I, we got a few dry days right now, but when it starts raining, it's going to rain all winter and it be cold and can't do nothing in it. And I kind of get a little bit depressed on those days and months where you can't really get out and do anything. So there's my plane. I was wondering what happened. Anyway, hope y'all's having a great day. Thanks for keeping up with Wilma. There's more to come if you're interested in Wilma uh, and some of the other trucks I have. This truck runs as good as Sky does, the 75 C10 I got. So it runs really, both of them run really, really well. So anyway, like I said, I have two, uh, Primer is best and I have Chevy trucks, two words, Chevy trucks. Don't forget to check out Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop who was a really good friend that got all my metal work done for me. And you know what, he, it, I told Tim before, if I lived closer to him, I'd be over all the time aggravating him. And uh, you know, he told me he'd like for me to live close to him. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, I bet he'd change his mind if I did. But anyway, uh, and don't forget to check out my other really, really good friend, uh, GM Tim 38. GM Tim 38 on YouTube. He's got a YouTube channel and uh, he's real interesting too. I talked to him for a while today. So it's been a good, good day. Anyway, I hope y'all's having a great day. Y'all stay safe. God bless you. Thank you for watching my videos. Please share and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel, Primer is Best and Chevy Trucks. Please like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I sure would be grateful if you would. And, uh, I'll be showing some more videos on Wilma here really soon, probably next day or so. So y'all have a great day. I'll see you later. You don't have to pat it now. It's warm. Mrs. PIB is going to put it in the garage.
See how quiet it is? I kind of like it. Guess I better hurry up and help her. I don't want her to hit hit Ruby by accident or as I said, I'm a part torter. That's what I was just saying. Welcome home, Wilma. Jimmy. Shut up. Here's how you do it. <laughs> Why don't you pull the truck back out? <laughs> and repark it. Get back in there and do it right. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. Not a whole lot. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Don't I get into some fine messes? Don't forget, I've got Primer is Best and Chevy Trucks, two words. Don't forget to check out my friend GM Tim38 on YouTube. That's Brian. And don't forget to visit Tim Dixon now on Facebook, Gas Axe Chop Shop, 10 Mile, Tennessee. And Instagram. And Instagram, yeah. Uh, Primer is Best, all one word, and Facebook. Primer is Best. I appreciate y'all watching. Hope I made y'all laugh. It sure did. I need to lose some weight. Hey, love y'all. Be careful. See you.